can you believe it? It's already the end of the summer. My name is Miss Jennifer and welcome to the Ohio County Public Library's Craft Demo and Book Talk. Today we're going to be doing a craft that has to do with bees because tonight on Thursday, August the 20th at 530, we would love to invite you to join us online for a presentation by Master Beekeeper Kyle Powell and he's going to be um, doing a Zoom meeting with us and um, he's going to be talking about um, different types of bees and how bees make honey and, and a lot about what is so important about bees and how important they are to our communities, to our environment, and to our world. And so I hope that you and your children will join us Thursday night at 5.30. Now, um, we'll kind of, uh, I'd like to kind of share with you how you're going to do that. So, so um, on your device, you'll want to find the Ohio County Public Library's webpage. It should look like this. And you're going to want to scroll down until you see the box that's marked Preschool and School Age Programs. You're going to click on that, and then it should uh, flip to this page. And you're going to scroll down just a little bit. And there you'll see where it has an online beekeeper presentation. And there is a link, okay? There's a link down here at the bottom of that information. So you're going to want to click on that at around 5.30 or a little bit before and get kind of logged in with us. And so we look forward to seeing you tomorrow. I know that Mr. Powell will have a lot of information about bees and um, and like I said, and it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be very educational, but it'll be a lot of fun as well. Give your children an opportunity to also share some questions that they might have about bees, maybe even about bee stings. I know bees are something that kind of come up a lot. Um, they might be something that is a fear for your child. So maybe learning more about bees would be really helpful. So our crafts, like I said, are going to have to do with bees. And what you're going to receive this week is uh, two little baggies that have been um, staple together. We're going to be making a bee hummer as well as a bee bookmark. Okay, so let's get started with the hummer. The hummer is probably one of my favorite crafts that we have done here at the library. I've done it with all age children from um, preschool on up. Um, it really is um, based on, it's a good example of the science of sound and how bees make that buzzing sound. Did you know that sound is caused by vibration? So when the bees wings flap or beat, they make a buzzing sound. And so that's kind of what we're going to do today. You're going to get um, a piece that looks like this. It's a popsicle stick that has a card that's already been um, glued to the popsicle stick with a string on it. So you can just get some crayons, some colored markers or colored pencils, whatever you would like to use and maybe decorate your bee hammer. Mine says be groovy because I am totally groovy. And so once you've gotten that done, what you're going to do is you're going to need to take your two cap erasers and place them on the ends. Let's see if I can get mine shoved on the ends of your popsicle sticks, of your popsicle stick. And then take your rubber band and you're going to stretch it from one end of the cap eraser to the other, okay? So that it looks like that, all right? So it's on the outside of the cap erasers, all right? Then you're just gonna take your string and wind it around your finger a little bit and then spin it in the air, okay? You do wanna make sure that you <laughs> stand away from other friends um, as you're doing it, so you don't wanna make, wanna make sure you don't hit anyone. But what's happening is, is that the rubber band is, um, as the air pushes it, um, as it spins around, it kind of vibrates the rubber band back and forth, okay? So, that is the bee hammer. Super fun, super easy, all right? The next craft that you're going to have is a bee bookmark. Now these are a corner bookmark. Um, 
you've got um, in your little bag, you've already got a corner bookmark piece that's already been folded using some simple like origami techniques. Okay, You're going for this project, you're just going to need a glue stick. All right. So what we're gonna do is there are three kind of bands for your bead. You're gonna start with the longest piece of construction paper, the longest little strip of construction paper. And it is going to go across the middle of your bead from the tips to the other tip. Now you may need another, some scissors as well to kind of trim off excess so that you're gonna go right across the middle with the longest piece, all right? Then I'm going to take my stinger and I'm going to just, I might just put it on the end of my B at the pointy end. Notice I'm doing the pointy end, not the curved end. Okay, so I'm gonna put my stinger on there and then I'm gonna fill in with the other little pieces that I have, okay? I have two medium-sized pieces. Just going to stick those across. Another one across the top. And I'm just going to trim those with my fingers since I don't have any scissors with me, okay? So it's gonna look something like that with your three bands short one and a short one and the long one right across the middle okay now I'm ready to add some wings so I'm going to put some glue right there on my wings I'm going to set my wings kind of close to where that tip of that first band where I've got that first band coming across I'm going to put my wing there and I'm going to do the other one it is going to be kind of hanging off the side of my bead. Okay. You could even angle it in a little bit if you like. And then just draw a face on your bead. You could put some little antenna. And some eyes. You could give it some eyelashes if you want it to be have some eyelashes or you could give it angry eyebrows or whatever. So there's my finished one. There's the one that I did as a demo. And then to use these bookmarks, they're kind of neat because you just kind of stick them inside your book so that it holds your page like it's a bee looking, doing some reading in your book. Okay. So a lot of fun to make a fun bee bookmark, all right? So I look forward to seeing you guys. I hope that you'll join us Thursday, August the 20th at 5.30 for the beekeeper presentation. And remember that these crafts can be picked up on Thursdays or Fridays from one to three at um, either curbside at the Ohio County Public Library or come inside and see us, we'd love to see you. We've got one more week that we're going to share some crafts next week. You wanna make sure you join us as we share some Star Wars crafts. So we we'll look forward to seeing you then, bye.